Punjab has spoken. Polling ends peacefully in all 117 seats in Punjab. Polling ends for the third phase of the UP Assembly poll. 16 districts voted today. In battleground UP, Prime Minister Modi hits out at opposition parties, claims that between 2014 and 2017, the Parivar Vadis did not let him work for the people of Uttar Pradesh. A big test for Akhilesh Yadav in UP, a four-time MP in XMLC makes his debut in the Assembly polls. He, we will win, he tells NDTV. Actor Sonu Sood's car is stopped from visiting the poll booths in Moga in Punjab. His car is seized after the Akali Dal's complaint about him allegedly influencing voters. A key meeting of opposition leaders, the Telangana Chief Minister meets the Maharashtra Chief Minister in Mumbai. They discuss, among other things, opposition unity and the way ahead before the next poll. Good evening. The people of Punjab have spoken. Polling has ended for all the 117 assembly constituencies in the state. The border state has seen high voltage political drama over the past few months and a whole new political landscape has emerged with the BJP contesting without its long-time ally, the Akali Dal. A Congress veteran, Captain Amrinder Singh, being unceremoniously removed as Chief Minister, floating his own party and joining hands with the BJP, and the AAP emerging as a big challenger in this multi-cornered contest now. The voter turnout up to 5 p.m. today was 63.4%. A day of weddings in Punjab, but that didn't stop people from turning up in large numbers to vote. Polling booths saw a high turnout. Does that mean Punjab is ready for a change? For leaders like Chief Minister Charanji Channi, who is contesting from two seats, the day started with a visit to a Gurdwara and a temple. Punjab ka bala ho, Punjab ki tarakki ho, Punjab mein aane wali sarkar bahut achchi bala. Aage Paramatma ki marji, ab logon ki marji hai. Hamne sab kuch apni taraf se jada se jada koshish ki hai. Ab jo log chahenge, jo Paramatma chahega. As the day progressed, allegations and barbs flew between rivals with Chief Minister Channi accusing the Akali Dal and the BJP for getting support from Dera Chief Gurmeet Ram Rahim and Aam Aadmi Party's Raghav Chadda claiming many incidents of EVM malfunctioning. Aam Aadmi Party candidate Lab Singh contesting against Chief Minister Channi was attacked in Badhaur constituency. Actor Sonu Sood was accused of trying to influence voters when he visited some polling booths in Moga, his sister's constituency. His car was impounded. Barring a few incidents of minor clashes among party workers, the poll in Punjab was largely peaceful. Though voter turnout in Punjab is reportedly lesser than what was recorded in the previous polls, but Punjabis did come out in numbers to vote for the new government. And now what they expect is that whichever party comes to power should focus on resolving all those issues which have been plaguing Punjab for decades. In Mohali, Mohammad Ghazali for NDTV. And 59 constituencies spread across 16 districts in Uttar Pradesh voted today in the third phase of polling in the state and all eyes were on the Karhar seat in the Yadav family stronghold, Mainpuri, from where the Samajwadi party chief Akhilesh Yadav is contesting his first state elections. The BJP has fielded the union minister SP Singh Bagel against him. The SP has lost the seat just once since the party's inception in 1992 and voter turnout up till 5 p.m. Stood at 57.3. In 2017, it was 62.1. At 59 UP seats across 16 districts, voted in the state's third phase today, all eyes were on Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav, contesting his first state election from Karhal in family stronghold Manpuri. The former chief minister voted nearby in his village Sefai. As did his father Mulayam Singh and formerly estranged uncle Shifpal, who is also contesting from Jaswant Nagar. The UP BJP chief Swatantra Dev Singh also voted in this phase. <laughs> 
इसीलिए जनता नाराज है इनके खिलाफ मतदान करने जा रहे हैं सबसे ज्यादा सीटें समाजवादी पार्टी की होंगी और सरकार बनाने जा रहे हैं पहले दो में शतक लग चुका है ये दो में और शतक लग जाएगा सक्षम नेतृत्व के नाम पर वोटिंग हो रहा है और कानून के राज कर पहली बार पंद्रह सालों के अंदर जो अराजकता था सपा बसपा शासन में आज पांच साल से लोग शांति से रह रहे हैं खुशहाली से रह रहे हैं दिस फेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर समाजवादी पार्टी मैनी ऑफ द सीट विच आर वोटिंग टूडे वर स्ट्रॉन्ग एस पी बेस्ट इन द्वेंटी सेवनटीन असेंबली इलेक्शन द बीजेपी हैड बैक फोर्टी नाइन ऑफ दीज फिफ्टी नाइन सीट्स इन वेस्ट सेंट्रल एंड सदर्न यूपी वाइल द समाजवादी पार्टी वन नाइन इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व असेंबली इलेक्शन ऑन दीज फिफ्टी नाइन सीट्स द बीजेपी हैड वन एट सीट्स वाइल द एस पी हैड वन थर्टी सेवन किन मुद्दों पर वोट डाल रहे हैं तो गांव का विकास हो शिक्षा जो अभी बहुत नीचे चल रही है वो ऊंचाइयों पर पहुंचे अच्छा ये एक दौर था कि जहां पति कहता था पत्नी वहां वोट डाल के आ जाती थी तो वो दौर बदला है कि अब आप लोग अपने हिसाब से खुद डिसाइड करती हैं कि इसको वोट करेंगे कि इसको नहीं करेंगे अपने हिसाब चलेंगे अब तो बेरोजगार है महिला भी है और इतनी महंगाई हो गई है कुछ भी नहीं होता है अ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी ड्यूरिंग द वोटिंग इन कानपुर यूपीज बिजनेस पावर हाउस प्रमिला पांडे द सिटीज मेयर violated the sanctity of the vote getting pictures clicked inside the polling booth and sharing them on social media the local administration has filed a police case against her beyond the controversy much color to two brides in west up's ferozabad and southern up's mahoba made their way to the polling booths from their weddings this village in southern up's mahoba part of the impoverished bundelkhand region where the bjp won all 19 seats in 2017 refused to vote for a full 3 hours in the morning angry over the absence of basic facilities including a pakka approach much convincing by the administration later the vote started the vote in up now moves to capital lucknow and to the eastern part where a similar pitched battle between the bjp and chief opponent akhilesh yadav is expected with sanket upadhyay saurabh shukla rajesh and vinit this is alok pande and the tv we're going to go in for a short break after that what's behind these uh, meetings uh, high pitched political meetings ksr meets udav thakre meets sharad pawar what's going on all of that after a short break Welcome back. Now, the Telangana Chief Minister and the TRS President, accompanied by his daughter MLC Kavita, Rajya Sabha MP J Santosh Kumar, MPs uh, Ranjit Reddy and uh, BB Patil, they took a special flight this morning from Mumbai for a lunch meeting with the Shiv Sena Chief, the Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. KCR also met with the NCP chief Charat Pawar. What's this about? Well, it's all part of KCR's efforts to forge a non-Congress, non-BJP front ahead of the 2024 parliamentary elections. The main focus, uh, we're told, will be on strategies to work together to protect the interests of states at a time when, as KCR says, cooperative federalism is being violated. Desh ke rajniti. जो कि दो राजनेता जब मिलते हैं तो ऑटोमेटिकली राजनीति की बात आता ही है आज जिस प्रकार का देश चल रहा है इसमें बदलाव आना चाहिए क्योंकि तो 75 साल के आज़ादी के बाद जो संभव संभावित रूप से जो चीज़ होना था वो नहीं हुआ हम लोग एक बात पे तो सहमत हो गए कि देश में एक बड़ी परिवर्तन की ज़रूरत है आज हम दोनों के बीच में जो बात हुई है उसका बहुत ही अच्छा परिणाम देखने को मिलेगा कुछ ही समय में उदय जी का मैं निमंत्रण करता हूं हैदराबाद में आ जाए किसी प्रोग्राम में मैं रहूँ आज एक शुरुआत हुआ है हम दोनों के बातचीत से हमने साफ बता दिया है कि इसमें कोई ज्योतिष करने की जरूरत नहीं है हम देश के दूसरे अन्य नेताओं से हम लोग बात करेंगे खुलकर बात करेंगे किस प्रकार का मतलब चीज़ बनना चाहिए इस प्रकार का शुरू होना चाहिए उसका जल्द से जल्द तय होगा तब हम आपको बता देंगे देश के सामने भी रखें इन सभी से हमारी बात यही हो गई देवदर्शन 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 आज जो इशूज है खासतौर से मैंने कहा 
बेरोजगारी और गरीबी इससे कैसे छुटका कर लेना इस पर ही डिजिटल डिस्कशन हुआ और ऐसे डेवलपमेंट इश्यूज के लिए एक बैठकर पूरे देश में एक अलग माहौल बना सकते हैं तो वो माहौल बनाने के लिए कोशिश करनी चाहिए Welcome back. Now, news from around our cities. Parents and students from across Gurgaon protested the introductions of board examinations from class five and class eight. So now the plan is to have a board examination for class five students and class eight students across the state. Parents uh, held a silent protest. to oppose this move of the Haryana government which it claims the parents claim has been introduced or the government i beg your pardon claims this is a uh, this move has been introduced to improve educational standards in the state but parents are asking is that the answer parents and students in gurugram holding a silent protest against the Haryana government's new policy of state board examinations for 5th and 8th standards 10 year old ryan a fifth standard student in a private school says neither he nor his classmates had heard of boards examinations before this uh, i am in class 5th i okay. don't i don't want boards i want learning for parents like shweta manchanda the biggest concern remains the disruption in studies that the sudden announcement of examinations has caused we all have chosen different schools different methodology different boards for a reason we are very conscious parent who have made choices for our children to give them a certain kind of learning environment eighth class student soha krishnamurthy says the announcement has left students barely a month to prepare for a new syllabus uh we're completely against this decision it's being forced on us there has been no discussion with the children uh there has been no thought about what they want what is best for them the haryana board has just decided that all children are going to be forced to be, uh, to give a board exam hmm. which we are completely unprepared for several parents across the state have been protesting the new rules brought by the state government which propose boards examination for 8th 5th standards for all schools in haryana same syllabus for exams irrespective of the school board all government private schools asked to register with haryana board before february school associations on february 9th filed a petition in the high court of punjab in haryana seeking a stay on the order the first hearing was on february 10th and the court has reserved its decision on the matter until the next hearing on april 4th after the outrage by parents and schools Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar has called for a meeting with the school associations on 25th of February to find a solution. The decision by Haryana government is coming at a time when children across the country have mostly stayed at home because of the pandemic and have received learning through online means and many of them have lost near and dear ones and are also uh, struggling as far as the mental trauma is concerned. So while the government wants to improve Uh, the educational standards for these students adding more layers of examination is not the only way with camera person ashok mahale makshadongre for ndtv